We begin with a News 8 investigation into a work-at-home scam that could turn easy money into a criminal charge against you. Consumer reporter Brian Roach is working on this developing story, and he just learned this is an international investigation involving the FBI. I was trying to find a job that I could stay in the house. Ivan Rodriguez found that job on a website called Shopping Bag Corp. The company's website claims that it's a middleman, shipping packages around the world because some American stores don't ship overseas. It sounded like a great opportunity. And what kind of money were they talking? They were talking base pay $2,500. Ivan started receiving packages with specific instructions. You receive the package and you will have to take all the labels off. Anything, any label they had, anything from the old shipping had to be off. The company sent him new prepaid labels for each package, but each of the 10 packages Yvonne forwarded was not sent overseas. It was sent to the same address in Delaware. News 8 attempted to contact Shopping Bag Corp based in Queens, New York. Online, Google Street Maps shows the address for the company is a dentist's office. New York State records show that the name on the corporate records for Shopping Bag Corp and the dentist at this address are the same. News 8 has made repeated attempts to contact both businesses. Our calls have not been returned. Yvon tells me that once he questioned the company, they immediately cut off communication with him and he's never been paid. I swear that I thought it was all legal until the very end. According to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, Yvonne's job may have been part of a shipping scam to move merchandise out of the country that was purchased with stolen credit cards. So I brought for you the paperwork okay. file the complaint with the Postal Inspection Service. Yvonne has filed his complaint with the Postal Inspection Service, which is now investigating. And in addition to the Postal Inspection Service, News 8 has learned that the FBI and several other federal agencies are looking into these growing reshipping scams. Packages are apparently being sent overseas after being redirected to addresses near shipping terminals on the eastern seaboard. Tomorrow on News 8, I'm going to take you to one of those addresses being used in these scams and show you what we discovered in Delaware. When we showed up, we didn't get a warm reception from a man who barely spoke English and his boss on the phone. No TV. No TV. No TV. No TV. And she wants you to close the door. Yeah. And she won't speak to me. So we got a warm, fuzzy reception there. But postal inspectors are talking about these scams. Tomorrow we'll tell you what we've learned about these companies. This is a relatively new scam. A lot of the scams I tell you about have been around for years. This one's only been around for a couple of months. Anxious to find out what wow. happens tomorrow. I come back alive, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you, Thanks, Brian. Brian. Now an 8 on your side investigation into a worldwide scam where scammers are duping people into doing their dirty work. And this is a work-at-home shipping scheme. As part of consumer reporter Brian Roach's investigation, he went to an address that was being used in the scam to get some answers. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm looking for a gentleman named Bill Baker. My visit to 460 Copper Drive in Newport, Delaware started with a language barrier. Mm, I don't speak English. I'm sorry. We're trying to track down Bill Baker, who's at this address. Packages were being shipped here. Package, yes. Yvonne Rodriguez of Lancaster showed me 460 Copper Drive is the address that he was forwarding packages to after they were shipped to his home. You receive the package and you will have to take all the labels off. Anything, any label they had, anything from the old shipping it had to be off. Is there any logical reason for someone to send me a package and then ask me to send it on to a third person? There is no logical reason. Postal Inspector Nick Alicia tells me that his agency and the FBI are investigating these reshipping scams as a method for transporting stolen goods. The way they're obtaining this merchandise is through identity theft, credit card fraud. We believe it then goes and ends up in Eastern Europe somewhere. Meast America is the name of the company at the address in Delaware. Its website claims to ship packages to many Eastern European countries. At the address in Delaware, we saw dozens of packages being sorted, and the worker, who identified himself as Ukrainian, made a phone call. Then showed me the door. I'm sorry. Close. Boss, uh, no. She won't talk to me? No, 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 no. No TV. No TV? No TV. And she wants you to close the door? Yeah. And she won't speak to me? Well, News 8 attempted to contact Meast America, which is headquartered in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Our phone calls have not been returned. We want to ask the company if it knows what's in the packages that it's handling. But as a consumer, you should be aware that anyone who's asking you to reship a package to a third party may be using you as part of this scam. As we told you yesterday, federal agencies are investigating this. We're going to continue to follow this and let you know what happens. Glad you made it out okay. Yeah.
I'm a big scary. guy. <laughs> All right.